Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to talk about a game that's, uh, I spent a lot of time with back in, uh, late 1990s and early 2000s. That's right, K1 Revenge for the PlayStation 1. This came out in 1999, uh, published by GL Club, USA. Um, it featured, uh, a decent amount of fighters in it. And, uh, Horrendous load times. You'll be spending a lot of time with the screen if you play this game. <laughs> now loading. After everything you do, except particular fights, you're going to be seeing the screen. And for a while. Now as you'll see here, um, you have punching combinations. You have a uh, power punching. And then you have a uh, kicking. Kicking is all combined, but your power punching and your quick punching is uh, separated. They're different buttons. This game features uh, pretty cool uh, knockout animations. Um, if you get knocked out, um, your meter will be completely uh, drained. You could also be knocked down, as you just saw I was. Um, you get up from that, or sometimes you don't make it either. You don't make the count. Um, now, this Jay Harrison fellow, I don't know who he is. Uh, I was a fan of K1 back at the time, but I have no idea who it is. Um, but apparently he was pretty good because he knocked me out about 30 times. <laughs> um, like I said, uh, you have a uh, one kick function and then uh, two sets of uh, punching functions. One for quick and one for power. Now this game hasn't aged that well. Um, like I said, it was released in 99. It was probably a little bit behind its time um, from the start though. Um, the controls, um, moving around is slightly unresponsive, but, uh, just the punching and kicking aspect is just horrible. You will be mashing and nothing will come out a large amount of the time. I ended up just mashing one button and, uh, you know, maybe one twentieth of my commands would come out. I also found out the best strategy for beating, uh, some people in this game was repeated low kicks. As you'll see, this guy beat me, uh, Master Ishii beat me maybe 20 times. But, uh, if I low kicked him 30,000 times, I, I won. So, <laughs> I stuck with the strategy and, uh, I won. Now, I wanted to end this with a big punch, you know, <laughs> to show off a little bit. So, here we go. Uh, eventually one will land. Here we go, see. And, uh, the game moves pretty quickly except for the loading. Um, afterwards you get to see a nice little video of, uh, the fighter you chose. Um, and that's about it to the game. There's about 10 to 15 characters to sever unlockables. Each player has a, yeah, I mean, each fighter has an ending video such as this. Um, once the videos are over, it shows their basic highlight. Uh, once the videos are over, the credits roll. And uh, that's the basic game. It's fun to play, you know, but don't expect the true to life simulation, just some decent knockout effects and, you know, a fun 20 minutes or 25 minutes to play through. The credits are pretty well done, though. I like the way they edited everything. Alright, well, that was my first review. I hope you enjoyed it.